Hello everyone, my name is Johannes Schweifer. I'm CEO and founder of Coreledger and with this video I want to demonstrate how to buy tokens via the White Label Portal. The White Label Portal that you can see here is one out of many platform components of the Theos platform and among other things it sports two different views for presenting tokens to the token buyer. One is the featured token page like a classic token sale page with pictures, text, and the card function hovering here in the lower right corner. And the shop view, which is like a web shop offering different tokens in the shape of tiles where you can click on add to card and well, add them to the card. For this demo, I'm using the featured token page and I'm buying five tokens. Now you can see the tokens are added to the card. If I click on the card symbol, I can see the summary and the total amount. I can of course always change the amount and let's say just buy four tokens instead of five. If I click on checkout, then the next screen asks me where the token shall be sent to. The default option is the token card. That's a cold wallet with an Ethereum address printed on it and under a scratch off layer. There is the private key so that you can import it into, into any other wallet. Then there can be a number of different registered wallets, such as the white label app that I installed on a mobile device. And the other default option, like second default, is a custom Ethereum address, which you can just copy and paste from any other wallet that you might have installed. I use the token card here uh, for the demo and because the token card is a physical object, you need to provide an address, a physical address to ship the token card to. Again, I see the overview of the total amount. Now it's not just the tokens, but also shipping fee and the collection method, which is the price for the token card itself. I click on confirm. Last screen that asks me for some input is the bank, the method of payment. One option is the bank transfer, another the credit card, and third cryptocurrencies. Of course, we can configure additional methods here. The default method bank transfer is the easiest. So I click on that one, which shows me in the next screen, the bank details and payment details, then some checkboxes, which I have to confirm in order to proceed. Most important one, of course, to sign uh, to agree with the terms and conditions, which I can click on. It's a link then they will open here so I can read them. When I click on submit, then I get an invoice to my email address and I see the summary again. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching. That was the demo. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, then Please follow us on LinkedIn. We always publish information about new content, new videos, medium articles, and much more. Thank you. Bye.